Are you planning a trip to Dallas? Well, these are the things you must try. Presented by Shakespeare Dallas, the entire month is open for an outdoor movie premiere. The recent movie featured in the open theater was an award-winning movie, Shakespeare featured in 1998. The Gates of Shakespeare Dallas opens at 7 p.m. and the movie will start around 8 p.m. every day. The second on the list is Clyde Warren Park. Built with a donation of $10 million. The park is open for the netizens and visitors for free. The third on the list is Zero Gravity Amusement Park. Free fall rides are the most unique feature of this amusement park. Next on the list is Children's Aquarium at Fair Park. The aquarium with almost six water exhibits must deserve your visit. You can try to feed a shark during your visit. Moving ahead, the next on the list is Dallas Heritage Village. The Dallas Heritage is a collection of a large number of ancient houses that displays the culture of the Dallas, Texas. When traveling to Dallas, you must visit the Dallas Zoo. A zoo built on 106 acres of land in Marsalis Park is the home of more than 2,000 wild animals. That can amaze not only the kids but the adults as well. Well, you may like to visit the Bonnie Parker's burial place. If you really are a fan of Bonnie and Clyde duo. Bonnie Parker's burial place is in North Dallas and the female had been buried just beside her mother. Crown Hill Memorial Park is dedicated to Bonnie Parker. The Bath House Cultural Center is the welcoming venue for the performing artists and visual performers. The center has a 16-box theater as well, where you can see performers from around the globe are performing under one roof. You can find a variety of raw fresh vegetables, fruits, herbs, and naturally pervade fresh honey from the locals. You must visit the Famer's Shed to enjoy the live cooking of the chefs across the Dallas Farmer Market. Number 10 on the list are the haunted places in Dallas, Texas. Sons of Herman Hall, Miller Moore Mansion, the Adolphus Hotel, and the Majestic Theater are some of the known haunted places in Dallas. You must try to visit these places if you are a fan of horror movies. Last but not the least on the list is, Deep Ellum Neighborhood. The Deep Ellum is there since 1870 and is known to be the hub of music and art since its existence. Located in the east of downtown, the Ellum is now a hub of more than 60 restaurants, bars, shops, and much more. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and follow us for more travel tips and insights. You can also visit us at www.fontravels.com.